The Abba kindred claimed descent from Abba, a chieftain who accompanied the Magyars during their conquest of the Carpathian Basin around the late 9th century. According to tradition, the clan's progenitor may have been of Khazar or Turkic Kuman origin, though some medieval sources present the family as fully Magyar. A prominent early figure was Samuel Abba, who became king of Hungary from 1041 to 1044 AD, after marrying a sister of King Stephen I. His rule represented one of the earliest power struggles between pagan and Christian factions within the young Hungarian kingdom. After King Samuel Abba's death in battle in 1044 AD, his descendants retained large estates in northern and eastern Hungary, especially in the regions of Heves, Borsod, and Nograd counties. During the 13th to 14th centuries, members of the Abba family served as ice bands, county governors, palatines, and high-ranking officials under the Arpid and later the Anjou kings. The Abbas were large landholders, controlling fortresses and estates in northeastern Hungary. The town of Abahajfer, which means literally, New Castle of the Abbas, was a key seat of their power and even became a royal county. Despite their gradual decline in direct political influence after the 14th century, the Abba kindred remained one of the heraldic symbols of ancient Hungarian nobility, representing the pre-Christian tribal roots that merged into a Christian kingdom. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of three members of the Abba family from a study called Archaeogenetic Analysis Revealed East Eurasian Paternal Origin to the Abba Royal Family of Hungary. All three samples are male. Two samples are direct patrilineal descendants of the Abba, the Magyar ancestor. The third sample also descends from Abba, but not through his paternal line. I ran the three individuals through my trait predictor and beta calc tools for DNA analysis. Let's start with H's 261F. According to G25, his closest modern ethnicities are Moldovans, Austrians, and Hungarians. I modeled his ancestry as a mixture of Paleo-Balkan, Anetis, Baltic Bronze Age, Neo-Siberian, and Yaz. These components seem to be especially relevant to Hungarians and Eastern Europeans in general. He was predicted to have light green eyes, light brown hair, white skin, wavy hair, and a snub nose shape. He was predicted to be a worrier, to have higher D2 receptor density, high odds of autism, higher empathy, intermediate odds of cardiovascular issues, highest odds of epithelial cancers, low odds of autoimmune disease, highest homocysteine levels, intermediate odds of obesity, and likely blood type O or A. He carried rare risk variants for dwarfism, porphyria, and FD. With beta-calc, he was predicted to have high odds of autism, bipolar disorder, colorectal cancer, coronary artery disease, heart attack, multiple sclerosis, skin cancer, stroke, type 1 diabetes, and type 2 diabetes. He scored low for odds of anxiety, asthma, mental disorders, ovarian cancer, schizophrenia, and serum iron levels. Now let's move on to H's 262F. He is the cousin of the previous sample. With Global 25, he plots with Austrians and Hungarians. He is the most European of the three samples we will review here. Notice how he only has 2% Neo-Siberian admixture. Otherwise he seems to be a mixture of Slav with something Germanic, evident by his high share of Anetis ancestry. He was predicted to have light hazel eyes, dark brown hair, palest skin tone, curly hair, and a snub nose shape. He was intermediate between warrior and warrior, lactose persistent, had less D2 receptor sites, average odds of autism, high empathy, high cardiovascular risk, low odds of epithelial cancers, high autoimmune risk, high homocysteine levels, low odds of obesity, and decisively blood typo. He carried rare risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness, protection from HIV, GLUT1 deficiency, Parkinson's, Putz-Jaeger's, IBS, and myosclerosis. With beta-calc, he scored particularly high for odds of alcoholism, autism, heart attack, lung cancer, mental disorders, multiple sclerosis, schizophrenia, serum iron levels, skin cancer, and type 2 diabetes. He scored low for odds of anxiety and asthma. Now let's move on to the final sample. He is the third cousin once removed to the previous two samples. His closest ethnicities are once again Austrians and Moldovans. Interestingly, Afrikaner shows up among the top three. 
Despite Afrikaners being quite close to him, he is not the most European of the three samples we revied. Notice how he scores 3.6% Neo-Siberian and 4.6% Yaz. This sample is in fact the least European of the three samples we have reviewed. However, his giant share of Anetis ancestry shifts him closer to Germanic and Celtic peoples, which is why he still plots slightly to the west of Hungarians. He was predicted to have dark hazel eyes, light brown hair, white skin, wavy hair, and a snub nose shape. He was a warrior, lactase persistent, had less D2 receptor sites, high odds of autism, average empathy, average cardiovascular risk, low odds of epithelial cancers, intermediate autoimmune risk, high homocysteine levels, intermediate odds of obesity, and decisively blood type B. He carried rare risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness, protection from HIV, Leshnihan syndrome, Parkinson's, Jacob Kreutzfeldt, congenital analgesia, FDD, and myosclerosis. With beta-calc, he scored high for odds of anxiety disorder, autism, bipolar type 1, hypertension, mental disorders, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, prostate cancer, schizophrenia, and stroke. He scored low for odds of asthma, dermatitis, and heart attack. You can purchase all three samples from the link in the description of the video. There, you will also find links to purchase my tools and services.